Okay, so the uh, network that we have set up here, I've got this set up in GNS3. Very simple. We've basically got a line of routers, and they're all going to be running um, EIGRP as their IGP, and then of course MPLS is going to be enabled on each one of these links. Um, basic um, IP addressing, this is going to be the 10.1.12 slash 12.0 slash 24, you know, this would be the dot one, this would be a dot two, blah, 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 all the way down. In um, addition, each of these routers will have a loopback zero interface assigned, which will be just the quad value of um, the router. So it's going to be 1.1.1 slash 32 for R1, and then 4.4.4.4 slash 32 for R4. And all those will be advertised in via EIGRP as well. Um, not separating the provider from uh, the um, customer network in this case. So, you know, these guys are all running MPLS all the way through. All right, well, let's bring up um, Secure CRT and take a look at what's going on here. Okay, so here we are. We're on our Secure CRT or whatever telnet emulator you choose to uh, use and um, like I said real simple network straight line so R1 um, take a look real quick at the uh, interfaces and we just got two we've got the loopback zero and it's pretty much gonna be the same way all the way around um, just connecting each router to each other via the uh, serial interfaces and then having a loopback zero with the uh, quad IP address on each router so take a look at the uh, IP protocols you can see we're running EIGRP and those are the routes that we've learned via EIGRP and you can see in there that we've got the uh, other routers loopbacks you can see the 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2, 3 4 so let's real quickly just make sure that we have end-to-end -end connectivity and we do. We can ping the uh, loopback zero interface on that far end router, which is R4. Um, and as far as um, MPLS goes, we've got that running over the serial interfaces. So if we do a show MPLS LDP uh, discovery, and you can see, you know, we're running it. This is our local identifier, um, but it's running uh, LDP on 0, 0, slash 0. If we jump on R2, we can do this showing the same thing. And it's actually got two neighbors. So anywho, we're uh, set up with MPLS end-to-end, -end, so now let's start taking a look at um, PHP operation. Okay, so let's go ahead and go from end-to-end -end and take a look at the assigned labels for the 4.4.4.4 slash 32, I think I got it right this time, <laughs> prefix. And again, that's going to be the loopback zero interface on um, R4. So there's a number of ways that we can do this. And um, if you remember, you know, the uh, the way to take a look at the bindings, you can see it in the LFIB, but um, let's go ahead and do um, take a look at the bindings just strictly on the LDP level so show MPLS LDP bindings oops and uh, if we do this this gives us all the bindings what I like to do is um, take a look at just the local binding for the specific route and if we just hit enter here it says incomplete command this is one of those tricky bits with um, MPLS so we use our handy dandy question mark and you can either use the, the mask you know your, your quad 255s or just go ahead and put in the uh, the bit length which is going to be 32 the tricky bit is that you know it's not slash 32 or did, will it take that? no okay I didn't think so so it's space 32 anywho so we can see that on R1 it's given it the local binding of um, or local tag of 20 so let's go ahead and just copy this command and we'll go on to R2 same thing and it's saying okay on R2 I've got this in my routing table I'm gonna give it a local tag of 18 R3 I'm good now oh, well 
sometimes you run into this if you've got a uh, network that's you know in our case it's only four routers and there's not a lot going on as far as routes so it, it assigned it a local binding of 18 as well and then when we go to r4 which is where this this guy is if you do a show ip route 4.4.4 you can see that this is directly connected via ospf zero um, so this guy is the end of the line it's the last hop router and if we go ahead and see what local uh, tag it's assigned we can see it's given it something called an imp null now that's not something that you use in Dungeons and Dragons to nullify uh, an imp attack uh, that's just shorthand for the implicit null and we all know what that means that's the uh, sign that R4 is going to give to its neighbors to pop that motherfucking tag um, so I just dropped these into notepad real quick and I'll pull this down here basically our end-to-end -end local labels for the um, 4.4.4 slash 32 prefix on R1 it's saying I'm going to give a local label of 20 R2 says I'm going to use 18 R3 says I'm going to copy R2 and use 18 R4 and the line this is where PHP comes into effect and it says I'm going to give it the implicit null so when we go back and look at these and we look at the outgoing labels of course uh, the outgoing label on R1 is going to be 18 the outgoing label on R2 is going to be 18 because you know it's learning R1 is learning its outgoing label from R2 R2 is learning it from R3 and anybody want to venture a guess as to what the outgoing label on R3 is and if you remember the theory part it's going to actually be popped so there will not be an outgoing label because it's received this implicit null 